Hey everyone and welcome back to our channel. In today's video, we are diving into Sigma Computing, a cloud-based business intelligence platform designed for teams that love spreadsheets but need powerful data insights, especially if you're looking for an easy way to analyze and visualize your business data without writing complex SQL queries. So let's begin. Now, the first thing that you need to do is to go to the official website, which is sigmacomputing.com. If by any chance you cannot access the website, you might want to use a VPN because sometimes Sigma has some geo restriction on specific location or region. Now, you have two options here. You can simply click the request a demo if you want that, but if you are serious, using sigma computing for your organization or your company you might want to click the try free option on the upper right corner this would lead you through to the next page wherein all you have to do is just fill in as much as information as you can that means you need to use your work email or business email fill in as much as information and follow the on-screen instructions by clicking on the start trial now, what will happen is you should be able to receive a welcome email from Sigma and click the verify email address. Then it's very important at this stage to fill in as much as information as you can because that would help Sigma to suggest and tailor the dashboard for you when you begin your account here in this platform. Just click on continue. Now, once you've done that, you should be able to successfully create your account, and start your Sigma trial. Of course, you can get started with the welcome video, but if you don't want that, just simply go to the homepage itself. Click the go to homepage. You might want to skip this for now. And from here, this is the golden opportunity to familiarize yourself with the platform. Now, now this is very important because before you analyze data, Sigma must be connected to a data source. So all you have to do is go to the admin panel, which is going to be found on the upper right corner. Click your profile icon and click the add connections or connection, depending on the version that you are using. Click that and you would notice that you need to enter the required credentials and permissions. For example, you might want to put in the new connection here for the name. And then you can choose from any of the following options for the top. You can use the BigQuery, Post, GRE, SQL, Redshift, Snowflake, Databricks, Starburst, AlloyDB, and MySQL depending, of course, on your preference. For example, we're going to be choosing the first option, which is going to be the BigQuery. Now, you would notice that you can put in the building project ID, the service account, additional project IDs, and write access. You can also click this option to enable write access so that you can basically upload the CSV and a lot more. Now, if you're not familiar with, yet with this option, you just have to skip it. Make sure you have the necessary permissions and click the create button here. But of course, you need to provide all the information needed. Now, if you go back again to the homepage, back to the folder right here, you would notice that you can also have the option to connect your data. All right, these are going to be some of the resources and training materials where you can get a hold of the connecting data sources from this section. If you go back again to the home page, click the home. On the left side panel of your dashboard, you would notice that you have your documents if you save any. So if you have it, just click to create a new folder. And then the workspaces, as you can see, I have created a Sigma how-to tutorials. Wherein, obviously, there's a three dots icon here. You can share this copy link. For example, if you click on share, you can share this folder to your team members, your boss, your clients for effective and efficient collaboration. Now, you can set the access level for the permission that they can only view, explore, contribute, or can manage so that you whatever comfortable access you want to share if you don't want any of your team members messing with the project you can do that you also have the option to delete this as long as you want it now 
In terms of the template right here on the left side, you have noticed that there's a lot of options for you to choose from. All right, from calculation to column actions to custom homepage, data element, dynamic profit, you name it. So that depends on your goal and what kind of information you would like to work on. For example, we're going to be using the calculation template, right? Obviously, the owner is the Sigma template. If you click on it, you would be forwarded to a new page. Just wait for it to load. It depending on your internet connection, the uh, loading times may vary now you can use your data you can swap now or dismiss but for now let's click dismiss and as you can see you have all these you have again the option for editing preview as explorer or preview as viewer depending on your preference and you also have an option for the device view is it going to be shown on desktop or computer or laptop or using the mobile view because you need to make sure that this is both responsive for desktop and the other devices such as mobile because most of the people are always on the go and they wanted to check some information here in sigma using their mobile device and again you can also share this especially what we have done earlier and you can refresh data if it's not um saving or if you want to make sure that you have the latest updates when you do some editing you can also have the option to customize layout if you click this button right here you can create a child visualization you can add chart table pivot table linked input table so there's a lot you can also uh, make sure to maximize this space as needed and you can filter this by sortation you can add a new column duplicate column rename and a lot more depending when whenever you are more comfortable you can also uh, format the elements right here and you can add more elements along the way all right now when you go back again to the home page you would notice that some people or if one of your team members shared files with you you would be, should be able to see this file right here and again similarly to the option the uh, shared file can have a restriction depending on the access level you would notice that they have the most recent file that you are working right here for example we have use of the calculation template and the uh, data element template for the favorites right here for example if you want to make this a favorite all right you can do that and then it would appear on your favorites right here for the temp for the trash i'm sorry let's say we go here we click this and we click that and open and then we want to delete that it would basically go to the trash icon all right if you want to click to create a new you can create a workbook a data model data set or we can explore data by writing sql and uploading csv load a file from your desktop into sigma depending of course on your preferences and again once you're comfortable with the basics once you have familiarized yourself with the dashboard you can explore advanced features again like writing sql queries in sigma if you click this it would be forwarded here it takes a little while all right you can embed Sigma dashboards into applications and a lot more. So these are going to be your steps to take your data analysis skills to the next level. And make sure you always click the uh, Save As button whenever you update any process or file here within the sigma computing. And that's it for today's video. Thank you so much for watching. We, can, we will see you again in the next video.